All right, guys. I'm gonna run a Honeywell primary control. The two yellows of the CAD cell. The white is the L2. L1 is the red that I talked about coming in, remember? The limit is the black. The purple is the solenoid valve. Orange is the motor. And the blue is the transformer. Alright guys, I went in there and set this one up. Let me push all three buttons down. And you go through the mode to set it all up. Call for heat. Clay oil valve. Transformer just cut out. All right, I'm gonna shut the burner. I'm gonna shut the high limit off. Got it on a time delay for 30 seconds. Pulse purge will dry the head out. Nice little control. You can set it up for whatever you want. Longer post purge, or longer pre purge, whatever you want to do with it. There we go. 30 seconds. I'll show you how to set this one up. Push all three buttons. Install it. Set up continue. Hit this button here. English. Valve on delay. That's the delayed oil valve. You can set it for what you want. 15 seconds is fine with me. Ignition trial. I like a 45 second. You can do 15, 30, 45 seconds. I could like a longer. Burn off delay. I got 30 seconds. I can go up as high as I want. That's the post purge. Let's see how high it goes. See if it can go way up. Well, you know, post purge somewhere around, you know, even three minutes is good. That's a long post purge. Depends on the setup, but I just had it on 30 seconds. Um, about a minute, I guess, is good. TT is connected there and this um, 1 and 2 is an alarm also uh, for no heat call spark will shut off after it's running spark during running no we don't want it we don't want it running uh, resets three resets uh, appliance type burner, furnace, water heater. I gotta just figure a burner. Doesn't matter. Um, show diagnostics. Yes. Install the setup will quit. All right, so we're ready to go. Stand by. Call for heat. Got our pre-purge, we're coming up to speed. We're sparking. We've got our delayed oil valve it's gonna kick in in a minute there. It's pressurizing now, it's firing up. We'll run for a bit. Transformer shuts off.
and a limit. Post purge. I got it set for a minute, so it's gonna run for a bit. So I had it set for 30 seconds before. And that'll run, that'll count down, and it'll shut off. She's shut off and she's on standby now. Yeah, what's nice about these controls is you can set what you want. Uh, Pre-purge, post-purge, uh, whatever you want to do to set the burner up. So that's the Honeywell control and we got the Collin control I showed you also. Alright guys, I got my regular 8184G hooked up to the delayed oil valve. So it will fire up and there will be a delay on the oil valve. It's got a built in delay on this anyway. Before it fires. Just won't have a post purge with this type of control. Okay. Yeah, just checking my environment here with my carbon monoxide detector. Three parts per million. <laughs> yeah, for testing the pumps, you know, I got this gauge here. It's like a manifold gauge, um, refrigerant gauge. You can check the vacuum pressure coming into the pump and going out and I can shut it off if I want do what I gotta do use this sometimes on pumps this one here is strictly just on the supply side of the pump so you could actually run it and check the pressure at the same time which is pretty cool Or I could just use my regular gauge like I usually do. Alright guys, sometimes you'll see me jump out this FF. Okay, that's basically just fooling the CAD cell in here to keep the burner running temporarily, either the bleed, the pump, or something like that. But if that jumper's on there, the thing won't start. It should never stop. It's calling for heat. That jumper's on there. It won't stop. I just, I released it. That's why it started. I got the power to it. That jumper's on there. Okay? It won't stop. For me to start this, I gotta release that. Okay, it's on the delay. And fly it up. And I check that as you can loosen that up. I got a 45 second control on here now. 45 seconds. So in 45 seconds, that should shut off. Here we go. My control's working. All right, so obviously, if you ever come to the job, how you can tell if the CAD cell's bad. If you ever come to the job, this this, this thing's down. Um, the unit won't fire at all. Okay. 
And if you remove this wire and the burner fires right up, the CAD cell's bad. So I got I got the power on to this unit. I got the CAD cell jumped out. It won't it won't fire again a second time. So if you come here, um, the power's on, everything's calling, the thermostat's calling, um, nothing's happening at all. You disconnect one of these yellow wires and the burner fires, it's a bad cat cell. I'm going to show you. See? That cat cell has jumped out. It's a little tech tip. Alright guys, I got my little manifold gauge here. Um, coming up here from the pump. Going into here. Okay, and coming out of here. It's going into the pump here. I turned this back into a one pipe. I took the plug out, put that um, that plug back in on the bottom, turn it into a one pipe system. So we'll be able to run the system, we'll be able to check the pressure here, be able to see what the vacuum's pulling. If I want, I can cut this back and show like a restricted line and see how it acts. So we will a restricted line. Alright, so let's fire this baby up. Jump out my thing so it don't shut off. And I can shut this off and shut my. my power off to it. Turn it back on. I've got running pressure here like 140. Alright, let's cut the vacuum back and let's see what happens. Going, trying to pull a vacuum on That's, a, that's what a restricted line is going to look like. Watch. Fire on off, on off like that. It's going to be a restricted line. Restrict the line, your vacuum will go up a lot higher, obviously. 